I'm Lisa Nealon, Senior Director Global Sales with Meeting Expectations. Welcome to my living room here in Algonquin, Illinois on Travel Day. As many of you know, I am leaving today for California and I will be videotaping my entire experience to give you a vision of what travel looks like today. Many of you have reached out in the last couple weeks and asked the question, what is it like out there? So what better way than for me to go? On behalf of myself and Meeting Expectations, thank you for joining us on this journey. We look forward to sharing it with you. And in the meantime, if we can be of assistance in any way of advancing your story with your meeting experiences, whether it's full service meeting planning needs, site selection for incentive travel, maybe a city hotel, maybe a resort, DMC services, or recently we've been hosting many virtual events and have had extraordinary moments that we've been able to experience with our clients. We're both covered in face masks and we are off to O'Hare. O'Hare Terminal 3. American Terminal 3 Airlines. American Airlines. We are flying here. I think this is the fastest I've ever gotten to O'Hare. So that's kind of a nice quality. We're about here to get to drop off and part of the uber experience now is that you take out your own luggage and provide some social distancing here and almost to american airlines okay we are at the airport and this can kind of give you an idea of there's no one here really right now due to not a lot of travel going on what's really interesting is that all the self serves are down and you actually go directly to the agent and they are incredibly accommodating and friendly and very talkative because there's obviously not a lot of traffic going on here but this gives you an idea a very fast process. I just walked up, gave my bag, and uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, we're about to go through TSA. As you can tell, the line is really short, and you can see the plexiglass. I can't take the camera through here, so we are going to get through TSA. Very short lines, very organized. Looks like it's really easy to get through. So here I go. Okay, I just got through TSA, which was a seamless process. I am heading to K4 and passing the Admirals Club, but unfortunately that is not open. Let's see if we can find something to eat while we're here. So as you can see, lots of options. We've got Starbucks open, Burrito Beach, McDonald's, and the Chinese place is open here. Everybody's doing social distancing, but actually dining. And as you can tell, everybody being appropriate based on the current dynamic. I personally am going to get something to eat. I am starving. Okay, we are at the gate and we board in 45 minutes. Everybody mostly has face masks on. It's pretty quiet. Let's see how this process goes. So they're announcing now that everybody's required to wear a face mask while boarding and also that you have to scan your own boarding. We have made some temporary changes to our onboard service. We recommend you purchase any food or beverage items here in the terminal and bring them on board with you. As a reminder, federal regulations prohibit the consumption of alcoholic beverages brought on board by customers. On this flight, we will be offering a snack bag that may be picked up as you board. And we are going to get called here in a few minutes and I will show the rest of this once we get on the flight. Pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. <laughs> so the usual travel dynamics, just no sitting here and we do not have anybody in our middle seat, which is nice for a long four and a half hour flight and probably the quickest booking process that I have seen in years. Everybody was appropriate and had social distancing. So it's really business as usual with the exception of a face mask on and a lot of empty seats. So we are going to get settled here and take off and I look forward to updating everybody upon my arrival in 